हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर अमित माहेश्वरी एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज बायोकेमिस्ट्री बेसिक्स बाय डॉक्टर अमित इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट म्यूको पॉलीसेकेराइडोसिस नाउ दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर फर्स्ट एम बी एज वेल एज फॉर द नीट पी एग्जाम lots of multiple choice question is asked from this particular topic in the neat pg or various entrance examination so the learning objective for today's video will be first we will see definition of mucopolysaccharidosis then we will see etiology and inheritance of mucopolysaccharidosis then we will see what are the clinical features of various mucopolysaccharidosis along with the various case presentation and in the end we will see multiple choice questions related to this topic so please watch this video till the end so let's start so the first definition of mucopolysaccharidosis so basically mucopolysaccharidosis are the lysosomal storage disorders fine they occurs due to the deficiency of enzymes related to the lysosomes fine so they are the lysosomal storage disorders due to defective degradation of glycosaminoglycans or mucopolysaccharides so that is the definition of mucopolysaccharidosis now what is the etiology so as i mentioned they are the lysosomal storage disorders so this occurs due to the deficiency of lysosomal enzymes that break down the glycosaminoglycans and as this glycosaminoglycans are not breaking down or not degrading so they starts getting accumulated in the lysosomes which results in a excessive intra lysosomal accumulation fine so that is the etiology of mucopolysaccharidosis now what is the inheritance of mucopolysaccharidosis so almost all mucopolysaccharidosis they are inherited by autosomal recessive trait remember this thing all the mucopolysaccharidosis are inherited as a autosomal recessive trait except hunter's disease fine remember hunter's disease it is inherited as a x link recessive fine it is inherited as a x link recessive trait fine so this is the exception which can be asked in a multiple choice question remember all are inherited as a autosomal recessive trait except hunter's disease which is inherited as a x link recessive disease now what are the characteristic features fine so in this we will see the general features then we will see the individual features related to the respective mucopolysaccharidosis so the characteristic features so the first characteristic feature that you will observe in the mucopolysaccharidosis is polysaccharidosis is the coarse clinical a coarse facial feature in the in that there will be the enlarged mouth and tongue along with the flat nasal breach apart from that there is a hepatosplenomegaly there is a clouding of cornea then there is a mental retardation and developmental delay then there is a dwarfism then there is a heart disease as well fine so dwarfism along with that there is a dysplasia of bones and skeletal abnormalities then there is a corneal opacity due to accumulation of various glycosaminoglycans in the cornea fine then mental retardation mental retardation is mainly due to the accumulation of heparin sulfate because it is not degraded properly fine so that is really, uh, that uh, that causes the mental retardation while the accumulation of other glycosaminoglycans will result in a mesenchymal uh, problems fine so developmental delay behavior problems some are uh, also associated with the heart disease particularly there is a problem in the heart valves which results in a development of murmurs as well and then there is a hepatosplenomegaly so these are the characteristic feature of mucopolysaccharidosis now we will see the respective uh, mucopolysaccharidosis fine along with their clinical features so the type 1 mucopolysaccharidosis is the hurler's syndrome fine hurler's syndrome and this hurler's syndrome occurs due to the deficiency of l l iodinase enzyme fine the enzyme which is deficient in the hurler's syndrome is the l iodinase now what are the clinical findings that you will see in the hurler's uh, disease so it is a most severe form of mucopolysaccharidosis fine the incidence reported are the one in 1 lakh live birth and it is associated with the severe mental retardation there is a 
severe skeletal deformity and corneal cloud corneal opacity will also be there and there is excretion of dermatin sulfate and heparin sulfate in the urine now how to treat this hurler syndrome so it is it can be treated by the bone marrow or cord blood transplantation and enzyme replacement therapy is also available so that is about the type 1 that is hurler syndrome now type 2 mucopolysaccharidosis that is hunter syndrome and remember hunter syndrome is inherited as a x link recessive trait and the enzyme deficient in the hunter syndrome is the iduronate sulfatase enzyme fine and the one of the characteristic feature of hunter's disease is it is not associated with the corneal clouding remember this thing it is not associated with the corneal clouding so it will be very very helpful in the solving the multiple choice questions related to the mucopolysaccharidosis apart from that skeletal deformity will be there mental retardation will be there and deafness will also be there and it is also associated with the excretion of dermatin sulfate and heparin sulfate in the urine and for the treatment of hunter's di hunter's disease enzyme replacement therapy is available so that is a type 2 mucopolysaccharidosis now the type 3 uh, mucopolysaccharidosis is the san filippo syndrome fine and the San Filippo syndrome is associated with the deficiency of an acetyl glucosaminidase or heparin sulfatase enzyme. Fine, so that is the de enzyme deficient in the San Filippo syndrome. And it is also associated with the mental retardation, skeletal the deformity, corneal clouding, and there is excretion of heparin sulfate in the urine. And there are three different from forms of this San Filippo syndrome is reported. So that is the third mucopolysaccharidosis that is San Filippo syndrome. Remember one thing that is Hunter's disease is not associated with the corneal clouding. Now type 4. So the type 4 is known as a Morchios syndrome. Fine and the Morchios syndrome the enzyme deficient in the Morchios syndrome is the galactosamine sulfatase or beta D galactosidase. And this Morchio syndrome is also associated with the mental retardation, skeletal deformity, corneal opacity and it is associated with the excretion of keratin sulfate and chondroitin sulfate in the urine. Fine. Then type 5 uh, mucopolysaccharidosis, it is known as a Schiess disease. And Schiess disease is also associated with the deficiency of L-iduronidase enzyme. The deficiency of this L-iduronidase enzyme is also associated with the Hurler syndrome which is a type 1 mucopolysaccharidosis. Remember, so if there is a deficiency of l iduronidase enzyme, then it can cause type 1 mucopolysaccharidosis or it can cause Keyes syndrome, which is a type 5 mucopolysaccharidosis. Now, the characteristic feature of this uh, Keyes syndrome is there is no mental retardation will be there. So, this is again the different thing that you have to remember that Keyes syndrome is not associated with the mental retardation. Apart from that, it is also associated with the skeletal changes, corneal opacity and there is excretion of dermatin sulfate in the urine. Now, type 6. Type 6 is known as a Matiox lamis syndrome and it is associated with the deficiency of N-acetyl beta-D galactosamine 4 sulfatase. And the characteristic feature that you will see in the type 6 mucopolysaccharidosis is the skeletal deformity, corneal opacity and again there is a no mental retardation over here and there is also excretion of dermatin sulfate in the urine. And the last type 7 is the Sleeth syndrome which is associated with the deficiency of beta glucuronidase enzyme. Fine. And it is associated with the mental retardation and there is excretion of dermatin sulfate as well as heparin sulfate in the urine. So that is about the features of mucopolysaccharidosis. Now we will see various type of case study along with the images. Fine. So the first is related to the Hurler's syndrome. So this is the picture of Hurler's syndrome and from the picture you can see there is a short stretcher is there. There is a developmental delay is there. There is an enlarged mouth and tongue is there. Fine. There is a hydrocephalus is there. So this is the picture related to the Hurler's uh, syndrome which is a type 1 mucopolysaccharidosis. Now this is the second case which is related to the Hunter syndrome which was diagnosed in the 6 year old boy and it is uh, inherited as a X link recessive trait fine. So from the picture again you can have idea there is a development of umbilical hernia, there is a hepatosplenomegaly, there is a coarse uh, facial features is there fine, there is a stiffness of joints are also there fine, short stretcher and developmental delay is also there. 
so hepatomegaly joint stiffness umbilical hernia severe hearing loss that is deafness developmental delay and recurrent ear infection so that is a hunter's syndrome now this is the again picture related to the hunter syndrome but it was diagnosed in a 48 year old man fine this is a 48 year old man which was having normal uh, iq fine so the diagnosis was made at the age of 13 but again you can observe there is a coarse clinical features are there fine he had his joint uh, fitness as well and there are the heart murmurs were also there fine but it has a normal intelligence he has a good career as well and the mode of inheritance for the hunter syndrome is the x linked recessive disease so that is about the case presentation now how to do the diagnosis of mucopolysaccharidosis so mucopolysaccharidosis is associated with the intralysosomal accumulation of different type of mucopolysaccharides and this mucopolysaccharides are also excreted in the urine so in the urine uh, you can uh, observe the presence of this mucopolysaccharides and from that you can do the diagnosis another way to uh, diagnosis is by doing the enzyme assay on the cells that is the definitive mode of diagnosis so from that you can have idea that this is a mucopolysaccharidosis and it is also diagnosed with the help of amniocentesis fine prenatal diagnosis is possible with the help of amniocentesis now we will see treatment so treatment is generally directed towards the symptomatic uh, treatment management of the symptoms as well as making the uh, life uh, improve improving the person's quality of life fine so medical care directed towards the systematic condition and improving the person's quality of life apart from that enzyme replacement therapy is also available for the mucopolysaccharidosis 1 2 and 6 that we have seen in the particular table and the lastly bone marrow transplantation is also available so that is regarding the treatment of mucopolysaccharidosis so that is all about the mucopolysaccharidosis now we will see multiple choice questions so the first question is mucopolysaccharidosis are hereditary lysosomal storage diseases caused by and the options are defects in the degradation of glycosaminoglycans defects in the targeting of enzymes to the lysosomes an increased rate of synthesis of the carbohydrate component of the proteoglycan and the synthesis of heteropolysaccharide with an altered structure so we have already seen mucopolysaccharidosis is associated with the defective degradation of glycosaminoglycans because of deficiency of various enzymes related to the lysosomes other three options are not related to the lysosome uh, other three options are not related to the mucopolysaccharidosis so the correct answer is a now second question is a 4 year old boy present with the mental retardation dystrosis multiplex coarse facial features and clear cornea what is the diagnosis and the options are mucopolysaccharidosis type 4 hunter's disease hurler's disease and gelweger syndrome so we all know that there is a one particular mucopolysaccharidosis which is not associated with the corneal clouding and that is hunter's disease so the correct answer over here is the hunter's disease fine so that is the correct answer now another question is a uh, infant with corneal clouding has dermatin sulfate and heparin sulfate in his urine decreased activity of which of the enzyme listed below would confirm the suspected diagnosis of huller syndrome so they have already uh, told that it is a huller syndrome because it has a corneal clouding and excretion of dermatin sulfate and heparin sulfate in the urine so the question is basically which enzyme deficiency is associated with the huller syndrome and the options are alpha l iodurinidase beta glucuronidase glycoside transferase and iodurinate sulfatase so the correct answer over here is huller syndrome associated with the deficiency of alpha l iodurinidase fine so that is a correct answer so that is all about multiple choice question this are the my references and thank you for watching please like share and subscribe biochemistry basics by dr amit and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it thank you